I'm going to show you how to make a 35% return on your cash using a popular investment strategy called the Burr Method. This is not clickbait. This is not bullshit. Thorsten, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and Holton Wise TV is all about transparency in real estate investing, educating you in real estate investing, but doing it in a real way, giving you that transparency to the real industry. It is not sunshine and rainbows. A lot of people in the investment space, in the real estate investment education space, uh, I feel fluff things. I feel like they lead you to believe that, you know, day one, you're like, yo, I'm a real estate investor. Day two, there's chicks with fucking bikinis on, on your fucking arms or something. Like, dude, it's it's a tough job, man. It's a, you make a lot of money? Yes. If I made a lot of money doing it? Yes. It's, it's totally changed my life, but I've been dick kicked more than, more times than I can count, right? Uh, you're much more likely to get a swift kick to the cock, uh, than to have a whole bunch of, uh, hot chicks and bikinis just swarm you on day two, right? Day two is all about dick kicks. Okay. So I want you to keep that in mind and I want you to keep in mind what I'm about what I'm all about doing, what I'm trying to convey to you guys. I'm not here to be super polished. I'm not here to sell you fluff. So when I tell you I'm about to show you how to make 35% on your money, you could take that to the bank as an actual real-life strategy, okay? And I'm working with a client. His name is Thorsten. Thorsten has hired me to find him properties where he can make this kind of money. And he's hired me to shoot him straight. And I've done a few uh, deals uh, with Thorsten, a few videos rather, and uh, you're looking, you know, this is, a, this is an evolving process, right? We got a bunch of videos and I sent you some properties. I'm like, yo, this is the numbers. This is what you can expect. This is what we can do. And you're like, hey, man, that neighborhood looks a little rough. Like maybe let's try something a little nicer. So then we go into the little nicer neighborhoods, but the neighborhoods don't look as good. Uh, but the numbers don't look as good, rather. And, you know, we've kind of like shifted and we've gone back and forth. And we're trying to figure out what deal works, right? Because, again, man. Not sunshine and rainbows, not chicks and bikinis, right? You know, for every pro, there's going to be a con, right? If you want better numbers, well, guess what? You're going to have to take on more risk. That's how the game works. So where me and Thorsten are at right now, we are trying to get a bird deal, and we're targeting some C-class properties, and that's what I've got for you, brother. 354 13th Street, Elyria, 44035. Been on the market for two weeks. Fifty-seven thousand nine hundred dollars, and this house is just you know it's all type of booty, it's all type of ugly, it's just all fugly, man. It's nasty, okay? It ain't pretty, and that's why we're targeting it. it, it it's you know it's gross, okay? Right? Just big old house, right? Deck, I mean nothing really to see here. Backyard, nothing super special, just you know reasonable backyard, right? What we got here? Yeah, you know, gross, ugly carpet. Nobody likes this. Nobody goes into this room and is like, yes, this room is awesome. I'm sure this room smells. Uh, this old baby blue paint's got to go. Uh, you can't really see here from this photo, but I'm guessing there's scratches and holes in the walls. So sometimes you guys see these photos online of rooms and you think, oh, man, that looks pretty good. We, we don't even have to mess with the paint. No, man, you get up close, dude. I'm sure this is all grimy and nasty. Old grimy ceiling fans got to go. We got to get rid of these curtains. You know, just ugly stuff right nobody's happy to see the house but that's good for us kitchen the cabinets look uh pretty decent we could probably actually work with the cabinets we could probably work with the countertops uh this seems to be okay uh i don't understand what's going on there with the whole no um no cabinets there and they just put up like a sheet uh not a fan of that that sucks we'll We'll fix that. Right in the corner, you probably can't even see it, but there's a little white dishwasher. We're going to get rid of that, dude. You're going to spend a couple hundred bucks. We're going to get rid of that dishwasher. Because when you're in the sea rental game, bro, dishwashers don't make you more money. They cost you money. We're going to be targeting a Section 8 tenant here. Okay, and what we have encountered through having, you know, thousands of tenants throughout the years, you put a C-class Section 8 tenant in a house with a dishwasher, 
on average, I'm not saying, so like all the people out there that are watching the show, just like waiting to, to, for me to say something offensive and to get all butt hurt and start crying. I could see you fuckers on your little keyboards right now waiting for me to be like, James is a fucking asshole. He said this about these people. Hold the fuck on, okay? What I'm saying is through having thousands of tenants dealing with this business for many years, on average, I have actual data through analyzing the numbers I have access to because we've run thousands of rental properties and we've had thousands of tenants. On average, if you have a C-class property with a Section 8 tenant and you have a dishwasher, that dishwasher does not make you money over the long haul. So for everybody else, you know, maybe you're a tenant, you're watching this, and you want a dishwasher, and now you're sad that there's not going to be a dishwasher. Well, sorry. Welcome to America. Welcome to business. This is how it works, okay? Companies sell a product in exchange for profit. In this situation, the product is rental housing, okay? But this particular aspect of rental housing, a dishwasher, does not produce a profit. Therefore, we're not going to sell it. McDonald's ain't going to sell you a burger at a dollar if it costs $2 to make the burger, man. Sorry about your luck, but that's how it is. So that's what we're going to do to the kitchen. Uh, cruising on here. Just another gross, nasty room. You know, we'll get rid of that fan swap out like we're gonna make all the rooms look the same right we're gonna all the rooms are gonna be agreeable gray they're gonna have white trim they're gonna have hardwood floors because that is what uh keeps your turnover costs lower in the future okay so just you know see these hardwoods that's probably under all the carpet i was i was pointing to that computer you probably couldn't see me but see these hardwoods that's what's under the carpet uh that's what we're gonna refinish right so you're gonna pay us some money to to buff those out we'll put a dark stain on it so you can't really see all the discoloration and then as you go forward as you turn tenants over your uh, turnover renovations won't be as extensive because you don't got nasty carpet to replace right so all this carpet would be gone crazy ass chandelier is going to be gone just going to be a very simple uh you know just modern looking house okay so what i want to do after i do all that rather let's talk about that after we do all that after we do this renovation right i believe we'll be able to get a tenant in there paying a thousand bucks a month on the section 8 program that's twelve thousand dollars a year as far as what that will look like thousand bucks gonna come in and we're gonna spend an average of 500 every month. That worked out pretty uh, evenly with the numbers there, right? Just straight up 50%. Uh, people talk about the 50% rule. That usually is fairly accurate, guys. Uh, it's called the 50% rule. A lot of people talk about it. It's a quick, dirty, cocktail napkin math type way to do the numbers on a rental property, right? Essentially, about half of the money that comes in that's supposed to come in you're going to spend on expenses like repairs maintenance evicting people uh fixing this fixing that taxes insurance water bills property management all that jazz uh then you got to do the numbers in a more detailed fashion which is what we do on the show but the way the numbers penciled out today uh it was actually perfectly on the dot right so should be making about six g's a year now with that big old reno and all the stuff I want to do, right? What what do the numbers look like on our, our acquisition price? Well, 57.9. That's what they want. It's only been on the market two weeks. We're going to lowball them, though, okay? But there's a lot of shit going on with this house, right? All the stuff I just tore apart for you, right? That's not to talk you out of buying it because, you know, the goal is to get you to buy this, right? You told me to find you a property you should buy. And I think this is one you should buy. But you got to know what you're getting. And... I'm hoping other people see all the ugliness and like owner occupants are going to this and they're just like, ugh, they're not liking the property because, dude, there ain't nothing great about that property like from a cosmetic standpoint or, you know, nobody's in there with his wife like, hell yeah, this fucking smelly ass fucking room is great. I love this fucking kitchen with the no fucking cabinets. Like, probably not happening, right? So it's going to come down to us, rental investors, right? Seeing what's out there, what we could do with it. I would like to try to lowball them, and I would love to pick it up at $40,000. We come in hot, dude. Cash offer, that's, you know, it's very attractive to sellers. Just get rid of this ugly-ass house, man. $40,000, as is, of course, we'll get a third-party inspector in there to make sure there's no, like, structural issues. But we're going to plan to spend about $25,000. And that's going to cover all the stuff I was talking about cosmetically, right? It's going to cover the floors. It's going to cover repainting the whole big old house. That's going to cover patching any holes. It's going to cover the work we need to do in that kitchen to make it better. That's going to cover going into that bathroom and getting all new fixtures, making that bathroom beautiful, modern, fresh. In addition, I got about five G's in there for off fuck fund. Okay? The off fuck fund is for things like the hot water tank, the furnace, 
the roof. Now, the Aw Fuck Fund is five Gs. The Aw Fuck Fund does not cover all three of those items. The roof on this house, probably about a five, maybe $6,000 roof, okay? Furnace, $3,000. Hot water tank, $1,000, okay? So, with the fund, the Aw Fuck Fund, we're assuming not all of those three are going to be good to go, but we are not assuming that we have to do all of them, okay? We're just knowing that we're going into this. This is an old property. Don't, you know, make an offer, do the inspection, and then the inspection comes back, and you're like, oh, man, we're under contract for 40, but it turns out the roof is old. Obviously, we need to kill the deal. That's not, no, dude. That's why we're buying it for 40, because we know... All three of these items are not going to be brand new, right? Nothing else in the house is brand new. I'm not saying we have to do all of them right now, right? Roofs, they last about 30 years. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. Furnaces last about 30 years. I think none of them are going to be new, but I don't think all of them are going to have to be replaced today. So that's why we're going to have 5K in there uh, to figure out, because we know we're going to have to replace something, right? And then maybe a couple years down the road, we may have to replace the rest. Although it's also possible you may want to just do it all now because the biggest part of this deal is getting it to appraise for a higher amount after the renovation, which brings me to the last chart. If we go in and we get it at 40, then we spend approximately 25K. Could be a little higher, bro. Dude, if it passes out with you getting like a 29% return or like a 32% return or whatever, like I think that's still a pretty good deal. So a few thousand dollars one way or the other shouldn't be a big deal, right? So if we go in, pick it up at 40, spend that 25 or so, we end up all in at 65K. Get ourselves that beautiful Section 8 tenant in that beautiful house, man. That's going to be a 9.2 cap, and then it should appraise. My goal is for it to appraise at 75 Gs. So if you do spend a little bit extra money, uh, and maybe we do provide the appraiser with a brand new roof, a brand new furnace, a brand new hot water tank, as well as all the cosmetics, that could help keep that appraisal high. But if a nice conservative estimate is 75 Gs, dude, if it appraises at 75 Gs, that means of the 65 you spent, they're going to give you back 56 250 which means you only end up with 8750 in the deal and because i think on average you're going to make uh, $3,048 a year after you pay off this new mortgage. That, Thorsten, is a 34.8% cash on cash return, guys. And that is the promise I delivered at the beginning of the show. I said, I'm going to show you how to make about, I said 35%, okay, 34.8. We're rounding here. But that, guys, that's how you do it in the real world. This is not just theory. Real property, it's listed by a real company called Russell Real Estate, and my team, we can help you write the offer. We will negotiate on your behalf. Can I guarantee you we could close this deal at 40K? No, I can't guarantee you, but that's what we do here. That's what it's about. You guys want to make these type of returns in investing? I can't stress it enough. It's not going to be easy. All these super highly profitable deals, all this equity, it's not just out there on the trees. Cleveland's a great market. That's why you guys come from across the world to buy here, but we got to do work. And that's why you guys work with me. That's why we do the MLS Search and Analysis show. You want a guy in your corner that's going to shoot you straight and that knows what they're doing and has boots on the ground, a full team behind me, because what we do here, we don't give you fluff. We're, you know, we're not, uh, you know, just sitting here with this highly polished uh, look trying to tell you how great everything is. We're going to cut you straight, and we're going to do what we say we're going to do. We can't make bad things not happen we could eliminate risk not, well not eliminate risk we could uh mitigate risks by going smart doing smart things making smart renovations making smart buys putting people on section eight when we're in c-class neighborhoods where we know they're tough getting rid of those dishwashers we could do all that to mitigate this risk but bad things may or may not happen but what we can do is tell you you know what bad things could possibly happen let you know bad things are going to happen and tell you what we're going to do on your behalf when they do happen that's why we do this show, all the shows we have on Holton Weiss TV. That's why we put all of our products and services out there online with the price points available. I got my whole property management contract on HoltonWeiss.com on a FAQ, which is going to show you every penny I'm going to charge you. That's why I do these detailed breakdowns. I give you guys the most raw advice I possibly can. I don't know anybody who's given you a more transparent experience. So that, my friend, is this deal. Let me know if you want to do it. If if you do, my team will write the offer. We'll try to negotiate it. Maybe we take it down now. Maybe the seller is asking a little bit more. Maybe we meet somewhere in the middle. 
Maybe they don't do a deal. We let it sit for a while and it sells to somebody else. Or maybe it comes back to us and we can pick it up a little later or now. Uh, if we don't get the deal locked up right now, what me and you, Thorsten, we're going to do, we're going to be looking for the next one because we're just trying to get as many lines in the water as possible, folks. It's a numbers game. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Thorsten is, go to holdenweiss.com, property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show, order a package today. I'm about to get out of here for the day, folks. So as always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Field, author of The Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.